Hey, this is Tyler 4K Clement, and today I'm going to be showing you how to load a job up onto Pocket 3D. So the first thing that you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have your USB plugged into your data collector with your job files on it. Usually it's going to be a TP3 file. And also there's a few different ways we can load up this job file onto Pocket 3D, so I'll be showing that to you. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tap data right here then go to project then you can click where it says none right here then as you see there's no project files or anything onto there so we're gonna tap copy right here then it's gonna say copy project files and I'm gonna do from drive to internal memory which you can select it on the drop down menu right here then I'm just gonna select 4k backlot then I'm going to tap OK, it's going to say it copied, tap OK, then this is going to be highlighted blue, then I'm going to tap OK, then I'm going to have this be my current project, I'm going to tap yes. Now my job is loaded up here, um, you can see the control points, you can see all the line work, then I don't see the surface right now, so I'm just going to click data, surface, then I'm going to tap none right here select my surface, tap OK. It's going to ask if I want to use this as my current design surface. I'm going to tap OK. Now my surface is on here and I can start localizing or doing whatever. This is just the first way you can load up this job onto here. The second way is you can tap data right here, project. We're going to tap this 4K backlot then we're going to tap new, uh, put 4K in here, tap OK. It's going to be my name for my project file, just name it to whatever your job is called. Um, here, it, Down here you'll see this control points localization, MM, GPS data, and there's a check mark right here. I'm going to unselect that. It, basically if you have that selected, it's going to pull everything from your old job onto this new job. So it'd only be handy if you you wanted to make like a copy or something. Um, I Usually you want to unselect it just so it doesn't pull everything from your other job on to your new one. So you can just tap OK. Tap OK. It's going to ask if I want this to be my current. Tap Yes. Now I'm going to hit Data. Project. Import, Export. From TP3 file. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, tap USB drive, and as you can see, you can see the TP3 file on here. I'm going to select it, tap open. Then I want to import the entire project, so I'm going to click yes. You can click no if you want to select individual items from your job, but we're going to click yes. It's going to say control points, points, polyline surfaces, this all looks great. I'm going to tap finish. Then now this job is loaded in right here. Um, if you have separate uh, point files and uh, like line work and all that, you can actually just select it and import all the stuff separately. Which if you like, if I tap Control and do Import Export, I can import like separate control point files or surfaces. You know, just tap Import Export and also do my line work, Import Export and points. But yeah, that's pretty much every every way you can load in a, a design onto Park 3D. Um, thank you for watching.